Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Absolute Configuration Configuration of an organic molecule is, the three-dimensional arrangement of atoms, or, group of atoms. Configuration of a molecule is, the relative positions of the atoms, which can be interchanged, by breaking, and, making, new chemical bonds. Stereoisomers, differ from each other, in the configuration at, one, or, more stereocenters. The real three-dimensional structure of a molecule, is the actual configuration of the molecule, that is, absolute configuration, which can be represented by, either R, or, S, notation. R means, rectus, in Latin, right, and, S means, sinister, in Latin, left. Three chemists, Kahn, Ingold, and, Prelog, have developed priority rules, in order to assign absolute configuration, around the chiral center. Rule 1 Based on the atomic numbers, assign the priorities, 1, 2, 3, and, 4, to the four atoms, or group of atoms, that are directly bonded to the asymmetric carbon. The atom with highest atomic number, gets first priority, while, the atom with least atomic number, will have fourth priority. Example 1, let us prioritize the atoms, that are directly bonded to chiral carbon, in, bromo. Chloro, fluoromethane. Chiral carbon, bonded to, bromine, chlorine, fluorine, and, hydrogen. Atomic number of bromine is 35, and that of chlorine is 17. Atomic number of fluorine is 9, while that of hydrogen is 1. So, bromine gets the first priority, while, hydrogen gets fourth priority. Chlorine, and, fluorine, get, second and, third priorities, respectively. Note, if two, or more, atoms of the same element, directly bond to chiral center, then, atomic numbers of both the atoms being same, the heavier isotope gets priority, over the lighter isotope. That is, if protium, deuterium, and, tritium, directly bond to chiral center, then, the order of the priorities are, tritium, greater than deuterium, greater than protium. Rule 2, if two, or, more atoms, which are directly bonded to asymmetric center are same, then, priorities are to be assigned, based on the atomic numbers of the adjacent atoms, till the first point of difference is attained. Example, assigning the priorities, to the atoms, and, groups of atoms, that are directly bonded to the chiral center, in, 2-bromobutane. Chiral carbon, bonded to, bromine, ethyl group, methyl group, and, hydrogen. Atomic number of bromine is 35, and that of hydrogen is 1. Atomic number of carbon is 6. So, bromine gets the first priority, while, hydrogen gets the fourth priority. Now, we have to assign priorities to, ethyl, and, methyl groups, according to rule 2. Rule 2 says that, when the atomic numbers of the two, or, more atoms, that are directly bonded to chiral center are same, then, the atomic numbers of the adjacent atoms should be considered, till the first point of difference is reached. By closely observing the above structure, the first point of difference can be observed, at the immediate next positions, to the directly bonded carbon atoms. As the atomic number of carbon is, more than hydrogen, ethyl group gets priority, over, methyl group. Therefore, the priorities of the atoms, and, group of atoms, that are directly bonded to chiral carbon, in, 2-bromobutane are. Bromine First priority, ethyl group Second priority, methyl group Third priority, and, hydrogen, fourth priority Rule 3, if the atoms that are attached to chiral carbon are doubly, 
or, triply bonded, to other atoms, then, those atoms are considered as duplicated or triplicated. For example, let us consider that, an ethenyl group, ethanyl group, cyano group, and, carbonyl group, are attached to a chiral center, in a hypothetical molecule. Ethenyl group should be considered as carbon atom indicated in red color is considered to be bonded to two carbon atoms indicated in blue color. Similarly, carbon atom indicated in blue color is considered to be bonded to two carbon atoms indicated in red color. Similarly, ethanyl group should be considered in the following manner. Carbon atom indicated in red color is considered to be bonded to three carbon atoms indicated in blue color. Similarly, carbon atom indicated in blue color is considered to be bonded to three carbon atoms indicated in red color. Next, aldehyde group should be considered as that is, it should be understood that, the carbonyl carbon is bonded to, two oxygen atoms. And, in turn, carbonyl oxygen is bonded to, two carbon atoms. Another interesting example is, cyano group. Cyano group. Should be considered as. That is, it should be understood that. The carbon atom directly bonded to chiral carbon, is supposed to be bonded to three nitrogen atoms. And, in turn, nitrogen atom is bonded to, three carbon atoms. Now, let us prioritize the, ethenyl. Ethenyl. Aldehyde. And, cyano groups. In all the four groups, carbon atom is directly bonded to the chiral center. In all the four groups, carbon atom, that is directly bonded to chiral center, is involved in multiple bonding, with other atom. According to Rule 3, these groups should be visualized as Now, it is clearly evident that, as per Rule 2, aldehyde group should get first priority, as, at the first point of difference, oxygen has, highest atomic number, 8, compared to, nitrogen, 7, in cyano group, and, carbon 6, in ethenyl, and, ethanyl groups. The second priority goes to cyano group. Because, as per Rule 2, at the first point of difference, nitrogen has higher atomic number, 7 compared to carbon-6, in ethenyl, and, ethanyl groups. Third priority should be given to ethanyl group. Because, the carbon atom directly bonded to chiral center, is considered to be bonded to, three carbon atoms, while, in ethene group, the carbon atom directly bonded to chiral center, is considered to be bonded to, two carbon atoms only. Now. Ethenyl group, will obviously get fourth priority. Once, the atoms, and, the groups of atoms, around chiral center are prioritized, we can assign, R, or, S, configuration. Chiral carbon, bonded to four different substituents. On reorientation. The molecule looks as. Now, 
we should visualize the least priority substituent towards the back side of the viewer. The three other substituents should be viewed as if they are towards the front side of the viewer. If we can draw the curved line in the priority order of 1, 2, and 3 in the clockwise direction, then the configuration at the asymmetric center is R. Alternatively, if we can draw the curved line in the priority order of 1, 2, and 3 in the anti clockwise direction, then, the configuration at the asymmetric center is S. Now, let us assign, R, or, S, configuration to, chiral center, in the following examples. Bromo, chloro, fluoromethane. On reorientation. The molecule looks as. Now, we should visualize the least priority substituent towards the back side of the viewer. The three other substituents should be viewed as if they are towards the front side of the viewer. If we can draw the curved line in the priority order of 1, 2, and 3 in the clockwise direction. Then, the configuration at the asymmetric center is R. Alternatively, if we can draw the curved line in the priority order of 1, 2, and 3 in the anti-clockwise direction, then, the configuration at the asymmetric center is S. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.